So it's like she started having convulsions. There is a very high prevalence rate of disability in Kakuma refugee camp as compared to other parts of the country. This can be attributed to the fact that there is lack of proper nutrition, lack of proper health care, especially to pregnant women and children, even though there is very little official data to support this. Another factor that may compound this is poverty among the refugee community. According to a study done by UNHCR and WFP, only 4.2% of the refugee population in Kakuma would be able to survive without the assistance of humanitarian uh, groups working in the camp. Another one. Yeah. Good boy. Thank you. GRS mission is to accompany, serve and advocate for the most vulnerable, the refugees and the migrants. In that sense, the children with disability are the most vulnerable in our camp in Kakuma. We accompany them in a special way through our academics, formal, non-formal. So therefore we serve them so that it's inclusive, children with disabilities and children without disabilities because inclusiveness brings them together. Gan <laughs> We assess the learners in school readiness and the ability of the learners to read and write and also the intellectual difficulties. Part of the assessment is an evaluation of physical health and functional status which helps to come up with a diagnosis and classify the type of disability for the child. Access to quality education for refugee children in Kakuma refugee camp is challenging due to limited space and it's more so for children with disabilities. They are at risk of being excluded from education. GRS is partnering with UNHCR to ensure quality education for children with physical and intellectual disabilities. GRS runs five inclusive education centers across Kakuma camp for more than 300 children with the aim of integrating them to the mainstream primary schools. We have classes where children with and without disabilities learn together and others that are exclusive for children with disabilities. In Center 5 actually we are having classes of children with and without disability. By putting them together we realize that children with disability they are improving their coping with other children and we have seen the success after combining them together. My name is Kim Kong. I live in Kakuma 4, Zul 1, Bora 1. I saw my Number 5, the RS. Tonarofiki, Nacheza, Nashoma, Naandika. 
they are helping each other, they are learning a lot and they are improving. We wanted to struggle very hard with the teachers at least to improve that child. When we see the child improve, then we prefer to LWF schools. So I say it's okay if uh, he's, uh, now he's performing well. So once he joined the school, every time I come to school, I met the teachers, they told me that he was the best in the class. Now I am happy. We work with refugee occupational therapists who follow an individualized rehabilitation plan for the children. We have therapy sessions in the school centers and also in the community at the children's home for those with severe disability like Ted. <laughs> We train teachers to offer quality education services at our centers and also our work close with the occupational therapists so that they can help teachers to enhance the motor skills of children at the classrooms. The psychosocial support groups within our centers have been able to help our caregivers or parents to open up, to talk openly about the problems and the challenges they face. You realize these are parents with uh, similar problems. So these support groups have been helpful to them. Most of them have reduced to the fact that uh, going forward, they are seeing change in what used to be a difficult condition to them. So it's like we conduct sessions with the community leaders in order to be able to raise awareness on the, the needs of our children in disability in both Kakuma and Kalabaye. Actually, why are they? here in Kakuma. Why are there refugee camps? Because of exclusiveness. Someone is telling, you are not ours. You go away. And they are chased away. So therefore, inclusive education is not only education, but also to include the other in the mindset. Therefore, inclusive education is part of this whole God's plan to include everyone because God is for all. We are all God's children.